Hey guys, back again. Um, this is another video for the how to series. Anyway, this one's. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to make a wind on basically. So, say you're spending $20 and $30 on a wind on, I'm just going to show you how to make it because I know a lot of the guys who game fish and sport fish have still got like a bit of dacra and stuff laying around the shed, 80 pound or so. So, I'm just going to show you how to put it to use and make a wind on. Okay, this will this one will take a little while. So drill this one because some of the parts bits I'll be doing take some time. So I'll actually cut the video to make it a bit shorter for you. So I'll just I'll cut out the tedious parts. Anyway, to start off, you're gonna need a few things. First of all, you're gonna need a good old bobbin and some thread. That's gonna be if you're whipping on the end of your wind on. You're gonna need single strand wire. So basically you want this about 60 centimeters and you're gonna buckle it over like bend it over so it's two pieces like so hopefully you can see that and then on the end i've kinked it up and you'll understand why i've done that shortly yeah i need one of those okay some glue to finish off your wind on i use a tack glue this is like super glue but it's softer it's not as brutal it won't crack you can that actually bends and flexes it's actually a really good glue expensive and hard to find but it's definitely worth it and if you do find this stuff to keep it in good nick, put it in the fridge. I've had this in the fridge for uh, six, seven months and still perfect. It's good stuff. Uh, you'll need a lighter and of course some mono and a trusty old texture. Just I'll show you. It's just for a cheat. This is basically for a cheat. So basically, what I've got here is 80 pound Dacron, okay? And I'm going to use it with 130 pound, 130 pound liter. So I'm going to make 130 pound. Wind on, basically. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to need a bit of Dacron, guys. So what I'm going to do is, you know, about 30 centimetres or so, or not even that, that's a bit longer, maybe 40, 45 centimetres, like so. Okay, I'm just going to put a, a bit of black texture on that. Just, just a bit of a cheat, just so you, you know. After a while, you won't even do that, you'll just make them. So a bit of black texture on it. Now I measure it down. And the other side I'm going to do a couple of inches longer. You can see like so. I'm going to cut it here. So one side's about 40 centimetres, the other side's what, 50? Roughly. And that's it. Okay, and you can see the black texture in the middle there. That's just a bit of a cheat. Now what we're going to do is get our homemade wire here. This is single strand. Like I said, it's just a double over with a little hook on the end. So now, bear with me, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I'm going to thread that up the middle of the Dacron. So basically we're going to thread the Dacron down in this bit of wire. Damn. I've done this before for a practice run and it worked first go, now I can't see it. It's always away. Okay, there we go. So it's on the wire. Now, I'm just going to thread this down to the black dot. Okay, where I put the texture. This will take a couple of minutes, so I'll just I'll pause it. I'll cut this, cut, this, cut this out of the camera, and I'll turn it back on in a minute. Thanks. Okay, guys, uh, we're back. So as you see, I threaded the Dacron down the bit of wire. Okay, and when it gets to the end, it, it, it stops at this kink sort of thing. It lets you know when it's at the end, so it doesn't really go up. This lets you know when it's down there, so right at the end, at the kink there. Um, at this end, you've got the little loop now. You can see how I bored out where the black texture is. And now, and before I forget, I thread the wire through the longest bit. So when I measured this, I thought there's two bits, and then I put the black marker in the middle. One bit was about 50 centimeters, the other one was about 40. I, this is threaded down the long bit, so always thread it down the long bit first, okay? Now if you loop in the end of your wire, just with your other other end here, just go back in there, through the loop, just pull a little bit of a tag through, like so. Now what we're going to do is slide the Dacron off, off your wire, back over itself. And so we don't close it up at the end, what I do is another cheat, and I'll get a texture or something, just put it on the end, or a pen, just on the end like so. Now, 
all I'm going to do is take the Dacron off the wire, thread it back over itself. See, just this won't take long. I won't cut the camera off because this won't take long at all. Just keep sliding down, just a little bit at a time. If you do too much, it'll bog up. Just a little bit at a time. Just keep going down, as you can see there. The eye at the end's getting smaller and smaller. Now, there's a loop and the other bit of duck one just come out the end. Well, I just pulled off the wire. So there's the wire. Now we've got the duck one over, it's running over itself, down to a little loop. So just keep working that down. Nice and tight, like so. Okay, there we go. So, like so. Now the next bit is get your mono. You know what you want to do here is just cut on a bit of, on a slight angle, like so. And now with a bit of heat, I want you just to a little bit of tiny heat and just mushroom the end basically. So it puts a and wet it. That puts a little mushroom on it like this, uh, and there's no sharp edges, so it'll feed in really well. But also it puts a lip on here, so it's hard to pull back out. Okay. Don't put too much heat on there and make a big mushroom because you'll never get through the duck on it, it'll drive you insane. So just a little bit. Now, let's see how good my eyes are. Start threading it down through the center of the duck run again. Okay, first go, all that, beautiful. Now, it'll actually take a few minutes to thread this on because this is a good quality duck on to really tight weave. You can buy some duck ones that are quite you know, thick and not, not very t tightly woven. They'll go on really easy and they're not good ones. This one's quite tight. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off, feed this right down as far as I can get it. So you slide the top bit down so it's bunched up and you feed the mono right up to the end. When I get to there, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay guys, I've thread the mono. You can see mono is down through the Dacron right up to where the other one's bunched up. Now what you do is make sure that's on, you know, spread nice and tight. So run your fingers along it, start down at the end. Make sure it's, you know, on all the way, nice and tight. There's a little bit more there I can go. Oh, I won't worry about that. Just, so it's all stretched out, it's nice and tight, stretched out. Now, you want to bring the top one over and start sliding that down over the mono as well. And the other Dacron, so it's going over both of them. Okay. This one will take a couple of minutes, but I won't turn the camera off. So just bring it down. Just you can see how it's stretching it out, and just feed, slowly feeding it over, just little bit by little bit. And you can see it going over over the top of each other. Okay. Like so. Start feeding it down, nice, like so. Start feeding it, keep feeding, feeding, feeding. You see how they're nearly, nearly together now. Now, I'm going to make the little loop at the end. You can see the black text are there. Now, I'm just going to like pull one through, like so, and start making a loop. And that will bunch up a bit on the top again. So once again, just slide that, that one back down. Straight over the top, like so. And that's pretty much it. You've got your nice little loop there. And the top and bottom ones are basically the same, they're just here. So a little loop. There you go. Pretty much that's just you've made a wind on. Look how easy that is. Now all we want to do to finish this puppy off is just going to do a bit of whipping on the end. Generally what I'm doing is I'll have another section of this and I'll feed it under and pull it through so it's not quite as messy. But just for demonstrations, I'm just going to whip it and then do a half inch on just to finish it off quickly. Okay, so won't get too much too in depth. I'll wind that back up. So what you want to do is you want to find the one underneath and you got the one on top. The one underneath started here, it's going over a little bit more than I'd like. That's all right, and sweep it around both of them. So first I'm just gonna twist the tag end around a little bit, like so. I'm 
just going to do that nice and snug. Now I'm going to do is just twist that around and just work it down. Okay, just keep working it down, working it down, working it down. It won't take long. Like, look how fast that went. It doesn't take long at all, guys. Cut the tag end off now. I don't need that anymore. I'll cut that off. Now we'll just keep spinning. Just work it down over your whole, th over, over, over the whole lot. And I said it won't take that long. Look, look how, how long that is. I'm nearly done. Get to the end. Get up to the mono. It's going to be a little fur ball on the end, but that's no, all right. You can trim that off later. Now what I, I actually do is I twist back down over it, so it's got double on there. Some guys will put a half hitch where I just was, you can do that if you like. But I'm not going to worry about that, I'm just going to go back over the top, because I'm going to use some tack glue on top to lock it in. Okay, now we'll just go back over the top like so. Make sure you don't tangle it like that. Should have that on the hack side, make life easier for me, like so. And what I've done there, that was too tight and I broke it off. Guys, don't do that. That was a very, very silly move on my part. But you got the general gist, gist on how to do it. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to unwind this a little bit and I'm just going to lock it off with a couple of half inches. This one's just demonstration only. So I'll just un unwind a couple of them. Now we'll just do a couple of half inches down there. Just to lock it off and put a drop, drop of glue on it. There we go, just a half inch there. And we'll go down, just put another half inch. That's just to lock it off guys, I'm just, this is a demo only not have that so tight so basically whip just whip down whip up okay and then you put a bit of say tack glue over the top just put a couple of drops on there smear it on give it five minutes to dry and there you go you've got a wind on all you do now is measure out how long you actually want to make it five meters ten meters three meters two meters whatever but that's it, that's a wind on, and it won't undo, it won't break, I'm not even gluing this one, and look, it's not budging, it's not going to pull out, you can't get it out. See, very simple, I was going to say it's quick, but it's not too quick, yeah, it usually takes about 10 minutes to make a wind on, once you get used to them. And once you get a bit of practice with this, it won't look as rough, that was, that's quick and nasty, you can make that look rather nice and pretty. Um, so 10 minutes per wind on and it's a lot better than freaking buying it like 20 bucks a pop anyway guys I hope you like that one and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one I'm not sure what that is yet but we'll find out tomorrow thanks guys bye